What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining me, man. Super stoked. Um, man, Johnny 8 said it best, man. The alfalfa. Crazy shredded cabbage leaf going. Nutty right here. Stoked today, man. Had a great day. Super pumped. Um, you know, we're kind of, uh... We're kind of going through the goods again. The uh, uh, Riverwalk Vapors, this is another one. This is the Proud Tea Atomizer um, from RJ Mods. Um, so let me tell you um, a little bit about this. Let's have a vape first, right? This is the Hanna Mini V3 pack, right here. Um, we'll be getting into all that. Next video, baby. All right. So, I'm gonna kind of break this down. Let me show it to you guys, man. Let me put the cap on. And pull it off of the meter. So we're gonna build this sucker, all right? And you're probably gonna be wondering, why there's juice in this already um, because we're going to do it in dual auto dripping mode right I found it's a beautiful vape but that way I'm um, looking to shoot around 0 0.6 0 0.5 0 0.6 ohms is fine with me uh, so that's what we'll be aiming for here um, there we go this one this atomizer when you get in the box comes with a different drip tip this is the uh, Omega DT from LokiLab.com. All right, that does come with a drip tip um, as well. Uh, it comes in this nice presentation box. Check this out. All right, it's got a magnet on the front. Pop it open. It's got a little bubble wrap. You get a bag of O-rings, and you get another top cap. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you the differences right now on these top caps. This one. I'm thinking that's a year or a serial number, um, but they both have the same dragon head there. Now there's a big story behind this atomizer, okay? Um, and also, one of the this one has the dual hole in it, one, two, and this one just has the single hole in it, okay? So, well, and since we're gonna be dual doing a dual auto dripping mode, um, that's why I went ahead and filled it a little first. Not much, just a little. Uh, so cool, there's a story behind this, like I was saying. Um, this was actually, this looks pretty flush on everything. It's almost uh, got that hybrid look. Uh, brass 510, or contact there, okay? Um, you notice that kind of indentation there? Okay. Um, kind of trippy. But, uh, you know, the popularity of the Geobucks and, you know, and and all that stuff. RJ Mods, they dropped this atomizer. And that's what it was made to do, is that it was made to complement the Geobucks. And, and I might be even saying that wrong, let's see. Yeah, um, this basically completes the story of the warships. Um, essentially, this dragon head right here um, is, is basically is what they carved. They carved this dragon head out of wood and put it on the front of the boat. Um, and they would, and they would burn uh, sulfur, and it would kind of throw the enemy off, you know. And while it would do that, the actual cannons would come firing out of the dragon's mouth. Pretty crazy. Um, and the idea behind this was to have this sitting atop the geobuxins or whatever, you know. And this looks great on any mod, dude. Um, even my Captain Barbell it looks a treat, dude. Um, on top of the Zodiac, it looks amazing. Um, it definitely has a hybrid look, and I think that's due in part to that really thin base. It's stainless steel here. This is brushed stainless steel. Uh, medical grade, 316. Stainless steel, it does have a brass. Um, oh, let me make sure on this. Yeah, brush machine finish. It is, a, it is set up for a dual coil, and I'm going to go ahead and show you all that in just a second. Um, 22 millimeter diameter. It has a flat coil post for painless coil modification. I would have to agree with that. Leaking minimized through design. Um, four O-rings on this sucker. Um, 
3.5 mil juice capacity. And, um, where is it? That's what it, and I can never remember this, 3.5 milliliter Pyrex glass tank, all right? So there you go. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Um, let me bring you a little closer, guys. Check that out, inside the top cap. Nice, thick, chunky top cap, by the way. But check, see how it's rounded? Um, that's definitely gonna improve all of your flavor, okay? Um, most atomizers, you know, it'll your vapor will get vaporized or whatnot. It'll run up, hit the top of the tank, the top of your top cap, whatever you may be using. And if it's flat, it's gonna go boom, boom, and then up, right? And it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. Um, but when you have it rounded, you can imagine it goes boom, and it's smoother. It's got a smoother pull to it. It's just a really smooth, relaxing vape. And that's that's guaranteed. I've uh, been enjoying this thing. been having a blast. Um, let me make sure I got that. Notice how round it is. I mean, and it's, it's round in there. Uh, beautiful machine in here. Um, all 316 medical grade. There is a feature on this that I'm stoked about. Uh, you guys, you guys might be too. Um, let's get on. The, let's get on this part here. This looks all to be turned from one solid piece, from what I can tell. Um, one solid piece. Uh, obviously, the four O-rings, and you do get that little grab bag. Um, it is set up for a dual, or you can single it. Like. That's a nice thing, he sends, they send you two caps, you know, so you got the one with the single, so you can just run your single coil, and then they give you the dual one, so there you go, so if you want to drill one or not drill one, you know, options, it's nice. Um, everything's done, fastened down by flathead, or your fingers, um, check these out, notice that these are not knurled, but these ones have this knurling on them, so it makes it really nice to just kind of, but I want to show you guys this. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. Um, it is um, this piece right here. Let me see if I can get it with my finger. Nope, I'm gonna go ahead and just loosen this up. Um, I take this off, check this out. Okay, there's your brass, brass um, terminal, it's just going all the way through. One solid brass, piece of brass going through, right? Now, the thing is, is a lot of people are saying we do not, and you don't, you don't want brass touching your juice. Sorry for the dirty hands, guys. Brutal day at work, and of course, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Um, you don't want brass getting vaporized. You don't want juice getting on the brass and then having it heat up. Brass typically contains lead, all right? That's, I believe, the safest brass out right now. And this is my opinion, I believe, is naval brass. Uh, but nonetheless, I digress, guys. Um, so check it out. So there you go. That's exposed, right? This pin, it's got a little, see how it just kind of goes up and stops? It covers it. See the threads on top? It goes down, sits against your, um, your little Delarn insulator there snugs up and it protects that brass from getting any juice on it. I have not, when I've taken off that screw, I've not seen any juice on that on that uh, brass at all. And it leaves you the threads for the top where you can just, boom, pop that bad boy on. Nice, right? I love that. And it might be like the silliest, silliest and dumbest thing ever, but I love that. Uh, it's good thinking on their part. Um, also, I want to let you guys know, big, see how wide the ring is around the threading where you would put your, where you would wrap your coils around? Look how wide that is. Isn't that nice? Beautiful. Two millimeter wick holes. Um, two millimeter wick holes on this. Um, they're both insulated, of course. Um, so there you go, man. To fill, you notice there isn't really a fill hole, so, um, you know, you kind of got to fill it first. You know, unless you're doing a single, then no big deal. Then obviously you have options, but if you're going to do it dual, mm, you have to fill it first, so. 
Some people don't like to do that. I don't mind, especially when we're going to do it in auto-dripping mode. And of course, you know, I sat here and I tried to make sure I have everything on me. Everything. And of course, I forgot something. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, we're back. Cool, so I think we pretty much covered just about everything on that. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of to finish the story of the warships. I think it's it's great. Um, I love that. I love things that have a story behind them. So, nonetheless, man. Um, Let's go ahead and take you down low and look at building this sucker. I think we're ready to go. Here we go. Hopefully we get you all nice and straight there. Keep that in the shot. Good. Now I'm going to go ahead and loosen up. I'm going to take this, loosen that up pretty good, the center. Two negatives, just a hair. Doesn't need much. If I'm going for point six, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking 28 gauge canthal. And I'm thinking um, eight wraps, two micro coils, eight wraps each of 28 gauge canthal. Now, let's go ahead and jump into this. There's few, quite a few videos in auto dripping mode out there. Um, so, this might sound really familiar, you know? So. Let's just, uh, I'm just going to kind of hopefully describe it well enough for you guys, and if you've never heard of this, then hopefully you can gain something from this. Um, but yeah, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I got something that fits in these wick holes nicely, like that, okay? Um, you want your coil, okay? Now, like I said, these wick holes are two millimeters, but you want your coils to be two millimeters, okay? Um, that's just the way I like mine. Um, I like my coil to be the exact same size as the wick holes themselves. And this happens to be perfect, and thankfully because I love this thing. So, let's go ahead and wind a coil on it. Pull out my locking tweezers. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and put that off. And we're just going to do eight wraps here. Keep them nice and close. And I'm going to kind of overlap, kind of cut over one. Wait. That might be nine. That might be nine. Let me make sure. I got a great comment today. Um, somebody was saying that they're having trouble with their coils glowing evenly and at the same time. And if these don't glow beautifully for us at first try, I'm going to show you a great. Um, and even if they don't, I'm going to tell you this great technique on how to get your micro coils to glow nicely. Let me double check this, guys. Yeah. Okay. Looks okay. like eight to me. And pop this on. My little locking tweezers. Just lock it just enough to hold it. And then we're going to flame it. This thing's been, my torch has been acting up lately. So hopefully it will be okay here. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, try and get it in the shop for you guys. There we go. Get it till it's glowing. And hold it about 10 seconds. Hit the legs a little bit. And that should be just perfect for us right there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on the tweezers, let those cool while I wind another one. Let me set this over here actually. Pull off some more. Yeah, I've been loving this Addy, guys. 
it's got great flavor and like I said it's a really mellow vape it's just you can just definitely tell by that top cap once again we're gonna go eight wraps here one against the wall there a little bit. Good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and release that. And throw this one on. Good. And once again, about 10 seconds here. Yeah, I like to just kind of hit the legs a little bit. There we go. There we go. Nice and uh, nice and cooked. But I'm still gonna let these kind of cool down just for hair. And we have a set that's already pretty much cool. And we can kind of mount this. Okay, let's see here. So I am going to reinsert whatever you use to build it on. And reset right back onto your onto your tool that you use, whether it be a drill bit or anything like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and just stick it right down in there, just like that. Coil is on there, and I just stuck it back in the wick hole. And now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna wrap it around and fasten it. Tighten this up a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and take this bottom one. And I'm just gonna wrap it around, hold it down, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fasten down that negative lead there. I haven't done anything with the top lead, just the bottom. As long as you keep your, uh, whatever you use to build it on inside the wick hole, your coil won't move on you. Shouldn't move too much. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, break off this this lead. Just do the old twisty method, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and insert the middle lead. I'm just gonna go ahead, I got it right in the middle there. And I'm just gonna kinda pull it snug and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go and tighten the center post. Okay, but I'm not gonna tighten it down so tight, just, just to hold it because I'm gonna do some adjusting. You should end up with something like that. Oh, that's not directly over the hole. Like I said, we're definitely gonna do some adjusting here. And I might do that right now. I'm gonna take my little flat head here and I'm gonna kinda pry it under there and just use it as a wedge. There we go. Excellent. That's just about perfect. There we go. That's exactly what you want, the exact same size as the wick hole, okay? And you want to leave some room underneath your coil because you're going to have to take some tweezers in there to pull down the cotton. We'll talk about that in a minute, but just make sure that nothing's sitting on the deck. You're going to get shorts that way. Um, just, you want to elevate that coil. And hopefully you guys can see just how high I got that. And now let's go ahead and... Uh, Pop that one out because it should be nice and cool by now. And we're going to just repeat. We're going to stick it in there. Take the bottom coil. Pull it nice and tight. I'll hold it down with my thumb. And I'm just going to go ahead and tighten down that negative. And I'm going to go ahead and just break off. And just by lifting up and down on your canthal, it should just pop right off, no problem. And now, remember, we just kind of lightly tightened up that top, that last one there. I'm gonna grab this because I'm gonna stick this right back down in. 
Now, I went ahead and I wrapped the second coil through the post. Kind of like I do when I'm doing an RDA, right? I want them kind of interlocking in there. So by laying one down and then one back around the other way, just halfway, they will interlock. But on this, I'm going to stick this one in, just like that, to hold that coil there. Because I'm going to pull these tight. Like I, I'm putting some definite torque on that. And I'm not too concerned with lifting up that second coil I did right now because um, we, all those adjustments can be made later. No problem. That should be good. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull these and clip off before I clip, yeah, that's actually going to be just fine. And I'm going to clip those off. I'm not going to do the pulling technique on the center post. Um, mainly because, hopefully I can get this underneath here. No problem. Use it as a wedge. Just kind of lift that up. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, reinsert because I may have to do just a little adjusting. Yep, I'm going to have to do just a little adjusting here. Definitely happens. Don't get discouraged when stuff like this happens. Good. Okay, we're all lifted up off the deck. And you want about, when you look at it from the side, you want it to be about the same height. Um, these look pretty good. Pretty well centered for me. I'm definitely happy with that. And you know, recentering them is definitely not a problem. That's great. So that's what you should end up with. That one's off. There we go. Nice. Oh, okay. Now let's go ahead and measure this. Perfect. It's about just right where we want it. So now we need to throw it on to our mod here. And we're going to go ahead and... Uh, set our coils and make sure that we're firing nice and evenly before we do our cotton. Pop this off here. Dial down the wattage here. 7 watts. You don't want to be firing um, There we go. You don't want to be firing uh, your new coils like this. You don't want to be like raising your watch or anything. Take it down to your lowest setting. Now you saw that it didn't glow all the way at the same time, right? See how this one's glowing and the other one isn't? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to strum the coils. Um, like a guitarist would on his guitar or something. See what I mean? I'm just on the outside of the coils and I'm just running that this little probe, this little pick, against the uh, coils and essentially that, that really does the trick. There we go, now we're cooking. Not bad, right? So I think we're pretty good there. Yep. Nice and even. This one's got a little extra heat. Let's go ahead and tidy that up a little more.
You know, sometimes you gotta sit here and play with them. Gotta be careful with these uh, insulated that you don't fire too much because you don't want to melt them, you know? I'll take it. Good. I will definitely take it. Go ahead and lock it. Set it right here. And now we're going to go ahead and wick it. So the question is, how do we wick it, right? I'm going to tell you. Priceless piece to have. Get some tweezers. See how I hook those? See how they're hooked? Super fine point. Do that to them. Makes this a lot easier. Um, so how do we... How much do we need to wick this? Not much, guys. Um, I want to pack enough cotton in there that it just barely goes down in to the tank. Not much. Not much at all. I'm going to go ahead and insert it. Hopefully this will get perfect. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and I am going to kind of just drag it down in. That's where these little hooks come into play. And I'm just, just a little bit in there. Just until I know there's enough in there that the cotton will hold without, without me tipping it over and it falling out. And that's great. Super easy to do here. Let's grab some more. And like I said, like I, I do not have much here. I do not have much at all. I'm actually gonna cut that. Mold it the best you can. Insert it right in your coils. Grab your little tweezer and just kind of get it underneath that coil. And if you notice the height, how far I'm going up with my tweezers, because I'm not, I do not want to bump these coils, right? Because we got them going nice and even. Um, so we just want to go just enough. That's perfect. Right there. Great. Now. Let's see if I can use these scissors, hopefully. Not the best scissors I've ever used. But not bad. I don't got pulled out just a hair. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this back down. And I mean, I'm just like, you know, you can tell. Like, I'm just barely, barely getting it down in there. That's all you need, though. I know I have some better scissors here. Ah, there they are. These things are priceless if you don't, if you love working with cotton. Um, it just goes right through it like butter. The chiseled lettuce. That's it, guys. Dueled up. Leave a head on them. Kind of pull those in just a tad. Dueled up. Nice same height. Glowing evenly enough. And we got juice in them, so all we really got to do is tilt the uh, tilt it to get it started. And I got some more here to kind of get the the. Oh yeah, look at the hat. Nice and juicy. That's it. That's the beauty of the uh, the. Uh, Auto dripping mode. Oh, yeah, getting nice and juicy. I'm gonna go ahead and kickstart the top here. Yeah, the thing is, you don't, you don't want your cotton like. We can go up top now. You don't want your cotton. Um, super um, shoved down in there. You want the juice to be able to come up through that hole and then get stopped by the cotton. And that's how it's really going to soak it up. Um, and you definitely don't want your cotton inside of your coils too tight because then it won't wick well at all. Um, 
you know, kind of fidgety, but not really. Um, we'll go ahead and let that sit for just a second and soak up. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Um, super fun build. And this, like I said, this atomizer is uh, is a dream to build. It's super easy, you know. Um, but I hope you guys try that out. Like, if you guys like micro coils and stuff like that, I love micro coils, man. Uh, just strum them. Um, like, let's say, let me see if I got. Ah, this will work. Like, let's say that. Let me clean this off a little bit. Let's say that these ridges on this drip tip are the coils, right? And this is your micro coil sitting sideways, let's say, in your RDA. You get your post here, post here, post here. These are your coils. Let's say this one's on the back side's glowing beautifully. If this one's not, just take this and just strum it. Not hard enough to move the coils all over the place. Just, just, you know what I mean? Strum it. You just want to just lightly just, you know? You guys get the idea. Let's, uh... Go ahead and fire this. It is a little uh, uh, flooded, but it'll get better. Let's go ahead and add this on. Line your. Um, there it is, man. Proud T. It's so smooth. And as you, I always go like this. Some people call it the Jenny tip or something like that. I've always just kind of gone like that, you know. Um, and it'll just sit there and drip for you. Tons of flavor. Beautiful atomizer. Um, you know, as you can see, it's just, it's a thing of beauty. And like I said, there's that dragon's head. That's kind of what that camera commemorates, you know. It's cool. It's got a cool story to it. If you want to purchase this, they are in stock right now. There's a few places that have them in stock right now. Um, Riverwalk Vapors passed this on to me for review. Um, his name's Nick. Nick, thank you for letting me review it, man. There you go, man. You guys know where to go to get one. Uh, Riverwalkvapors.com. And give them a call. Hit them up on the website. Do whatever you need to do. They will get in touch with you. They're super good guys, man. I'll put a link in the description. Thanks for watching. Welcome to all my new subscribers. The com. Oh, let me do this real quick. I know this is long, guys. <laughs> the comments. I used to get um, emails that would say, "Hey, the so-and-so commented to your videos." I'm not getting them anymore. If you've written me and I have not responded, which I try to respond to everybody, I really do. I try really hard to respond to everybody and quickly. Um, hang in there. I'm gonna find you, okay? Um, until I can get this resolved, you, I can write in my inbox, so if you inbox me on YouTube, I can write you back, okay? So we're good to go there. But uh, as far as commenting goes, Throw it up there, because I'll check my, I'm checking all, I'm going through all my videos, because I want to make sure I answer you guys, especially if you have any questions about anything. That's super important to me, and it's super important that I keep in touch with you guys, okay? So, you know, just so you guys know, if you haven't heard from me, hang in there. I will get to you, so. Thanks for watching. Any questions whatsoever about the Proud T from RJ Mods, Riverwalk Vapors, me, building, anything. Anything I could possibly help with, please let me know. Let's end this in classic form. Man. <laughs> See you guys.